you are actually looking forward to hearing the dilemma. I know, especially for a weather like this. Why not? I love you and I, I know. We'll do that, don't worry. We'll do that before the show ends. But speaking of need, one, you know, your Wednesdays are not going to be the same. Yesterday you saw it, it was a double whammy on TV3 because we brought you Chicago Fire and we brought you Poisonous Bait. Well, Wednesday we have something else for you, but watch the trailer and we'll talk more about it. Eat your mother shit. Rama the instigator. What is she talking about? Hey, what is what is this my mother? Hey! Do you know what she's been eating? She's got all of you food in this shop. But not me. But no sex. Definitely not on your first date. I'm going to tell you, are creating a scene. Oh, madam, scene is in the movie. What? Your lesbian fixation? Huh? You call that a lesbian fixation? It is happening live. I am just coming from their room. A reckless allegation without proof. I will cut off your head like a snake. Let me strongly advise all of you to be like the good carpenter. Measure twice before you cut. My mind say no, no, no. Blessing barnacles. That's why they call me danger. Advance, retreat. I'm running my way. You bats in the woods, snakes in the woods. I told you I'll be back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so I mean, imagine getting that every Wednesday here on TV3 and Thursday, I'm told. So, yeah, let's meet some of the cast you saw in there. Of course, I saw my favorite girl, Judith Asante. Good morning to you, sweetheart. Welcome Good to morning. the show. And of course, the man who made you happy, yes, Mr. Bangkwa. Ah. Morning. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Uh, welcome to the show as Thank well. You. And they both star in it, of course. They've featured in numerous. Uh, and for me, what I love most, you know, we have great local talent. Why not use them? Also, let me introduce the director for the show, um, Sunshine Avenue. That's um, Kwame Bua. Bwedi. Kwame Bwedi. Good morning to you and welcome morning. as well. Morning. You're the producer and director. Yes. Uh, just, you know, we'll come to the actors, but just walk me through, you know, having to, I know a lot of local producers talk about support, support, support. How is that like Partner TV3 to do this? That's a very partner TV3 to yes. do this. How is it like? Yes. I mean, the, the deal we have at present is basically a uh, revenue share. Sure. So we produce the content, and TV3 gives the airtime sure. and also sells okay. the, the, the okay. product. What, so what support would you need, want more for local production? Ooh, I mean, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> elsewhere, yeah. elsewhere, TV stations commission producers, yeah. and that's the best model. That's the best model. Yes. Do, you, does that, do, do you think with what's happening, we're nearing there, say, in the next five, ten years? Is that yes, yes, definitely. Baby steps. I mean, we, we start with this, and hopefully, especially with the TV3 new direction, I think we'll get there. Okay, all right. So, Sunshine Avenue, I want to start about um, uh, uh, Abankwa. That is your character, the character that brings everybody to life? Because, you know, I see you and I jump at you. I'm like, okay, something is going to happen. What, what's your character? I mean, share with us some of the, your character well, traits. My, <laughs> my character has a lot of energy. Yeah. You know, um, and I'm actually playing two characters at the same okay. time. The danger character, it's with two characters. You know, at one point, I'm innocent. And at one point, I'm like you know, the <laughs> nigger in the wood, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, I'm, I'm bringing out some humor and, you know, some energy into the, into the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, do, how did you prepare for such a role? Because it's not easy to transition, because I'm wondering, you know, to go from being serious to being very light. Yeah. Um, I always say that uh, to make an unbreak depends on the director, okay. as an actor or actress. Okay. So, if you have a good director who is giving a good direction, you will know that you are going the right path okay yeah. all right yeah. and you look like judith you look like the main you know no nonsense woman in sunshine avenue please tell me that's exactly what you are uh, definitely i'm <laughs> um, mama she that's okay. my character okay um, I, I love mama she um she she's gone through a lot you know and her childhood experiences um sort of have shaped her to be who she is now so she's going to be very powerful, independent, you know, tries to mentor younger, you know, ones. She owns a beauty spa a salon, you know. She's got relationship issues, you know, dating men and having issues here and mm -hmm. there, you know. But she's a very strong woman. Mm -hmm. She okay. is strong. And I like that, you know, about Mama. She, she's strong. Um, you, you, she comes across as arrogant, but she's not. She's a sweet 
person to, okay. you know. Are, are you are you in character? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm feeling intimidated. I feel, I feel, you know, I can feel the energy and the, yes. the imposing character. Are you in character? <laughs> All right. What's it to be called directing them? Are they no, easy no. to work? I mean, the I mean please, they are not here. Do we hear? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, one of the key things is you, you, you first, you get people who are good. Okay. So if the, the basis is good, then it's very easy. I, I, and our scripts tend to be very in-depth. Okay. And so if you go smart before you give them a good script, that's it. Okay. So now let's talk about the script. Since, you know, a lot of it says, is what these characters, you know, bring it to life. These beautiful, gorgeous actress, uh, actors, you know, bring to life. What are we trying? What message are we sending with Sunshine Avenue? Okay, so it's Sunshine Avenue is a satirical drama. Oh, I love satire. I love satire because yes. you know we, we did Sun City as well. Sure. So, oh, great! So, so Sun City was based in the campus, so that was a bit limited. Sunshine Avenue mimics the life in a, in a typical lower to middle class. Uh, it could be in Accra, um, yeah. it could be in Johannesburg, it could even be in uh, New York. So it's really cosmopolitan and international as well. Sure. So we made sure our casting is very wide. So we've got some Ivorians in it. We okay. even got some Cameroonians and all that. Mm. And so we are mimicking the life of in a typical middle class setting. So okay. you've got all the types. I see. Uh, we'll stay on Sunshine Avenue. Is Sun City coming back anytime soon? We Ooh. loved it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know whether, but we could, we could find Sun City in Sunshine Avenue. In Sunshine so you wait. I know. Because in I Sunshine know. Avenue, we have, a, we have a hostel called okay. uh, Imoja. You know, these days you've got all manner of hostels in town. I know. And it, it houses lots of the people from the francophones and stuff. And yeah, they yeah. attend university. Okay. So you watch. You will see some semblance of Sun City in Sunshine oh, Avenue. All right. So um, is it influenced by what's our environment because i mean yes. if you take a crop for instance yes. Accra is very cosmopolitan yeah. and of course lower to middle income you know all, all over of course you have the yeah. very poor also in the capital yeah. how much of it did you draw from the environment no everything it's, it's actually mass product but okay. we, we 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 the signature is Ghanaian, but we want to think it's more of an international production okay so so the the ethos the the, the discourse the things we do in it vibrate so something picked from across the world. Because okay. we don't want to show only in Ghana. We want okay. to show everywhere else. All right. you know, but it has a Ghanaian signature, distinctly right. Ghanaian. Okay. So Judith, for you, so, you know, I asked whether you're in character because you have such an imposing, very uh, imposing personality. That's why I asked if you're in character. So how much of yourself did you have to give for this character? Um, a lot of myself. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of myself. I mean, as women, I'm, we all have our issues. Sure. You know, growing up, we, 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 we get... Um, Probably, I don't know if I should say abuse, but sure. we, we do sure. in a way. And Physically, you know, we go psychologically. through disappointments in relationships yeah. and all that. Mm. And so you'd always find a bit of you in there, sure. you know. So it, it makes it uh, sort of easy to play it out, you know. Mm. Plus, um, you, 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 you know about other people, you know. You but talk did to you your talk girls. To people? Okay. So, yeah, mm. I talk to people a lot. So... I, I get into it, you know, I put myself in their shoes and it makes it easier, you know. And I've got uh, friends that I'm dealing with, you know, as women, we have our <laughs> friends. We have Wade uh, sure, Yakubu who okay. is playing my friend Abiba and, ah. you know, she's gone through a lot, you know, from the north and it's like, as a Kai girl, she's and going to be. Her, mm -hmm. She's from there. Yeah. <laughs> and so we find a bit of our characters in there. Everyone has some traits. In, in the character they are playing. It makes it more interesting. And do you spend a lot of time on set? How, how long, for instance, if you want to shoot, do you have to relocate? Do you go home and come back? Um, we, we, we don't. Sometimes when it gets very late, then, no. of course, the producer finds a place for us to okay. stay. And uh, then we wouldn't, of course, he wouldn't want to put us in danger. Yeah, so, But um, he... he He's the director too, sure. and he he works with uh, set precision that mm -hmm. we don't waste a lot of time on set, you know. And he insists on quality stuff. And so, if it's not well done, he wouldn't rush off for us to go. But if you know it's okay for him, then we wouldn't have to waste so much time. Yeah, I mean, if TV three will put it on the on the <laughs> telly, it means that it's the quality has to be amazing. I mean, look, I'll see you taste buds. It's through the roof. So, yeah. So, I can definitely vouch for them when they say it's quality. Yeah. And and you as well. I mean, I asked about your character as well. But in terms of, you know, the character that you play, mm. um, is it your friends? Do you draw any inspiration from them? Where do you draw the inspiration from to be able to stay true to the character and not adulterate the character? Well, I always get inspired by the character. Yeah. You know, I, I don't... So, what inspires you about this character then? Uh... <laughs> 
the the negative side of it mm -hmm. inspires me a lot okay. because it's actually not the kind of person that I am. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. I'm playing it, I know that then I'm not just you know trying to be me, but trying to act, which is the acting, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I have these three friends, my brother and uh, a friend of mine who you know, joins me cooking up stories when I'm playing that kind of negative part of the role. Okay. You know, um, I, I go around, you know, I, I, I'm the, 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 the town guy, the, the neighborhood guy. So I Ah, you know who can easily become an uh, assembly man or yeah, MP. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I kind of know a lot about everybody. So okay. uh, when I, I know that this guy or this woman is vulnerable, then I, I go lay down the information to my colleagues and then okay. we come and cook up the story. You know, my brother who is a pastor will just pretend as if he's a prophet and then come. And then after doing all that, we are arrested. <laughs> We go to prison and then we come back and these two things they have changed wow but i was thinking that i mean prison should rather make us strong and even better you know than I'll before okay but okay. i you i, I to refused say, it. to say something <laughs> yeah okay I mean, I mean in general about characters sure, sure, sure. i i like to have a, a range sure. of diversity of characters because it's a, it's a satire so sure. And you know, he was talking about negative experience. Sometimes you want to teach about negative sure. experience. So sure. if you caricature somebody like Kwame Danger, <laughs> and then if you're viewing and you don't want to be Kwame Danger, then you're advised. I see. OK, interesting. I love satire. So who writes? Who's writing for you? Well, I And write, I can imagine you write I some. I write, and then I have a writer's group. Because we're going to uh, generate volume. So we need, we need uh, quite a few people. So anybody who wants to write can contact us. So all right. Uh, let me say. All right, then. So Sunshine Avenue will be on TV3 Wednesdays and Thursdays between 8 and 9 yeah. p.m. every evening. Imagine that. Your TV evening has completely changed. It's not going to be the same. And to see local talent on television... That's like, you know, cherry on the, on the cake, right? 